this movie. <laughs> oh man. Wow. This is going to be a good one. Hey guys, it's your buddy Jake Dominguez back with another movie review. I am pumped out of my mind to talk about this movie. I've been wanting to make this review for all, ever since I saw the first show of this film. And unfortunately, I had some technical issues. I My camera wasn't working and blah, 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 blah. But luckily, I'm filming it now. Hopefully, nothing else bad happens. Ain't that right, camera? Don't be break or anything. Sorry guys, I was talking by camera, I was getting mad at it. And with my luck, it probably will, but let's give it our best shot, huh? I am pumped out of my mind to review the new film from M. Night Shyamalan, Split. Split tells the, the story about these three girls who were kidnapped by this man whose name is Kevin, I believe that was his name, who has 23 different personalities. And they are kidnapped by this man, and let's just say insane, scary things happen, including a 24th personality, which is about to get unleashed. That's all I'm going to say about the plot. And one thing that I should have said at the beginning of this review is that this is 100% spoiler free. What I just told you was the synopsis. I'm not going to say any more about that. I am not going to talk about this film's ending or any of its twists and turns. I'm not even going to hint or nudge. This review is spoiler free. Should have said that at the beginning. I'm telling you guys right now. Now, let's talk about the filmmaker who brought us this story. It is written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Over the past few years, M. Night Shyamalan has become kind of a joke, to put it bluntly. People have used his name as like like a cautionary tale. People love to hate the guy. And he had such a great career coming up, and then he really went downhill with films like The Last Airbender. I still talk to people who get all pissed off about that film. And and After Earth, which just sort of came and went, was kind of, wasn't that big a hit. And people just love to use the guy as a punching bag. Well, let, to give you a bit of where I'm coming from, I am a fan of M. Night Shyamalan. And for years and years, I've been unashamed to say that. I'm such a big fan. Check this out. Ever since I was a kid, I have owned these guy's movies. The Sixth Sense is one of my favorite films of all time. It's one of the greatest films ever made. It is just... It's like the, one of the best films that Alfred Hitchcock never made. One of the best Alfred Hitchcock films that Alfred Hitchcock never made. There you go. I said that right. This movie's awesome. Unbreakable... I love this movie. One of the most underrated, underappreciated movies ever made. Totally ahead of its time. Oops, wrong order. Signs. I love Signs. People like to knock it. I don't care. It's fantastically directed. And the acting is fantastic. Village. You know what? I like The Village. It's a pretty awesome movie. There's lots of great things in it. I do not own Laney in the Water. But recently, I was able to go to the public library in preparation for Split. And check this out. One out. This might be a movie I will shoot a review on soon, but I kind of like this movie. I don't know. Maybe it's a guilty pleasure. It probably is. It definitely has some big flaws, but I really like it. I don't know. I do not own The Visit. I really want to because I love The Visit. That was a great comeback film for him. The Happening. Don't own that one. The Last Airbender. No. No. After Earth, I don't own that one either. Wouldn't mind owning it, to, to be honest, or the happening, but I don't... I've never bothered to rush out and grab those for obvious, re for obvious reasons. I don't own The Visit, even though I love it. And, you know, I've seen pretty much all of his movies in the theater, like, post-happening. And I'm a big fan of his work. And people used to mock me and say, how can you be a fan of the guy? And I'm just like, look... Look at these movies. These are great films. Even if he never makes another good or great film again, I'm going to be a fan of the guy forever. After The Visit, it just proved what I was saying. Visit was a great movie. 
and I hoped that going to see Split, I would be happy again. Well, guys, I'm happy to say that when Split comes out on Blu-ray, I'm immediately going to buy it and add it to my collection, because this movie is fantastic. This is such a, and a smart, intense thriller. It holds you on the edge of your seat. At the end of this movie, I could, like, barely breathe. I was on the edge of my seat. This is what M. Night Shyamalan does best. I think he knows that. He is a master at good old suspense, smart scare, and having a bit and heart in humanity in his films. There's, he makes really entertaining movies. The really good ones, anyway. And this movie is that. Just like The Visit and coming to this film split M. Night Shyamalan knows what he's doing he's back in his wheelhouse he has complete pretty much creative freedom he's allowed to do what he wants and he's doing what he knows best split is very interesting because it's M. Night Shyamalan basically trusting the audience that's what this whole movie is it's kind of a slow burn at first the whole movie's entertaining but it, every act gets better and better till the third act. Like, the end of the second act, I'd say the whole third act just explodes. M. Night Shyamalan is trusting the audience. He has scenes, which you may wonder, why is that there? What's the point of that? It all comes back later. This is a very good script. Every just scene just completely unfolds until it just blossoms into this crazy, awesome movie. And he does uh, so many creative, brave things in this movie. This whole movie is very brave. I will give it that. Definitely. There are so many things in this movie which, when you say them out loud, and I'm not going to, spoiler free, sound insane. They almost sound crazy. But in the context of the film, because it's so well made, it works. You buy it, and the more the film goes on, the more you accept it. I... It's hard to review this movie because I don't want to get too much into spoilers. But let's talk about the the pretty much the main antagonist of the film. Uh, I believe his name is Kevin. He has a lot of different names because of his personalities. But uh, the man, the kidnapper, played by James McAvoy. I've always been a fan of James, James McAvoy. He's an incredible actor. He's been in so many great movies like Atonement. I love him as Professor X and the X-Men films and... He's been in lots of great stuff. This is the best performance he has ever done. He is incredible in this movie. If this movie came out like in December, and this was just like when it came, finally came out in a wide release, he would be a lock for an Oscar. Like dead serious, like I'm not even exaggerating. His performance is great. A, even greater when you think about how it easily could have been not great at all. It could have been a failure. James McAvoy, what he does in this movie, when all the different personalities come up, they are distinct from each other. M. Night Shyamalan does an interesting thing whenever Kevin is on screen. There's a lot of shots in this movie, where, which is just on his face. On James McAvoy's face, that is. Like, it just shows a close-up of his face while he's talking. There's a lot of scenes, like, when he's talking to his psychiatrist and that sort of thing, where it's just focused on him. And I think the reason that he's doing that is just to show off his performance. Every single personality is a different person. Like, when James McAvoy acts like a different personality in this man's head, his face, like, his... Like, the way his... His facial tics and everything are different. I'm, I'm that's pretty obvious. I'm dead serious, and his voice is obviously is different. But I'm, I mean, just his, just his entire body moves differently. It's just every personality is distinct. You don't, you when you're watching this movie, you don't even think of it like that's just a person making a funny voice and acting like a different person. Like you, every personality, you immediately know who it is before it even he even talks. I can go on and on. He's extraordinary. If this wasn't a genre film, if it wasn't like a horror thriller with that goes crazy and all that, if this was just a normal drama about a man suffering from, you know, this sort of mental illness, it wouldn't even be a question. The, the, every critics group in the world would just be throwing awards at James McAvoy faster than he could catch him. But... <laughs> You know, because this is a January release, probably one of the best January releases in a long time, I don't know if that'll happen. He deserves it. He's amazing in this movie. Anya Taylor-Joy, 
who is the uh, main character, kind of the main hero, the main protagonist of the film, as the kind of the main girl who gets kidnapped along with the two others, is fantastic as well. She is great. What What's her name? Betty Buckley, I believe is her name. She plays a psychiatrist who talks to James McAvoy's character. Fantastic as well. All the acting in this movie, most of the acting anyway, is pretty great. The score that is done by this film is M. Night's movie, first movie, not counting The Visit, which had no music at all. It's his first movie to not have music done by James Newton Howard. It's done by Wes Dylan Thordson. His music is fantastic. I loved it. It's atmospheric. It's scary. It, you almost don't even notice it at times. It is great, great, great score. Now, I'm giving a lot of praise to the split. And most of all, this movie is just entertaining. I never knew what I was going to go. It makes lots of brave choices. And M. Night Shyamalan is doing what he does best. He's taking these B-movie, almost grindhouse house kind of things and ideas and putting them in kind of like an A-list kind of fashion. I think he knows, looking at his past few films, what he did wrong. <laughs> and he's doing what he does best. This is such a fun movie. Split does have a few problems. A few criticisms I have of Split are, I mentioned earlier that all the acting is great and that I caught myself and changed it to most of the acting is great. Now, the three girls in this movie, the main one, I believe her name was Casey, played fantastically by Anya Taylor-Joy. Is that her name? Yeah, I believe that's her name. The two other girls, their acting's a little iffy at times. They're not bad, but there's a few times where the line readings aren't, like, perfect per se, and I think part of the reason for that, it's almost unfair. I mean, they're almost there as, like, just to be plot points anyway. I guess you could argue if you really want to be mean, but for me, I would just say that they, these two girls are surrounded by incredible actors and actresses. James McAvoy, who is just the most giving is such an incredible performance, and everyone else, like... I just don't think they're quite up to the same scale of acting. I don't know. I'm trying to say this in the nicest way I can, which is why I'm going into detail about this. But, you know, they're fine, but they're not great. They're a little iffy at times. There's times where they overact just a little. I'd say the first act of the movie is the probably the weakest. But, I'll, again, it's all the build-up. It's setting up things and setting them and showing them for later in the movie. So, at the same time, I understand that. But every act does get better. And... There are some things that happen in this movie which may throw people off that they may not be able to accept and that may be hard for them on the first viewing but by the end of the film I think just stay with it it all makes sense it gets better Split is a terrific movie Now spoiler free but the ending of this film I'm not going to say what happens I'm shaking even thinking about the ending of this film. All I'm going to say... Remember in Signs when a Joaquin Phoenix character is watching that news footage of the alien and the way he reacts? Literally me at the ending of Split. good it's 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 great loved it <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say split is definitely worth seeing i'm gonna give it an a minus there you go there's my cheesy signing off the letters and stuff an a minus this is a great movie i loved it i am definitely going to see this movie again now, I'm going to actually do a spoiler review of Split that I'm going to upload soon. I am going to see this film again. I might wait to see it again until I upload it. And maybe a few days from now, I'm not sure, but expect that soon. I'm basically going to geek out about the ending of this film. It made me so incredibly happy. Really quick before I end this review, well, the review's already done, before I end this video, quick channel update. I cannot believe the response I'm getting to some of my other reviews in this channel. You know, compared to like other big time YouTubers like Chris Stuckman, Jeremy Johns, the Flick Pick, like my, my, my heroes, the reason I'm doing this. 
it really is a nothing. I'm not getting the most views or the most likes. But what I am getting, I can't, I could never have even guessed I would get that response. I, I, can't, I can't believe it. When I see the views my videos are getting, the likes they are getting, the comments I've been getting. Again, it's not much, but it's more than I ever could have like wished or dreamed for. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being subscribed to me. I can't think of... I, it is beyond hum humbling to see the response these videos have gotten. I, I don't even know what to say. And there's a part of me, not to knock myself, but I don't have the best equipment. I don't have the best... My reviews aren't perfect now. I don't really have a way to edit right now, so they're a little choppy, but... I, I am almost amazed that you guys are subscribed at all and that you're watching it all. So thank you so much for being here. That means the world to me. I can't even put it into words. So thank you for watching. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you like this movie and if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. And please go ahead and comment in the movie below. Comment in the video below. Oh, gosh. I need to get used to saying <laughs> Comment down below. What did you think of Split? How awesome is this? I am going to be proud to display these movies and to love M. Night Shyamalan even more. He's back. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, especially during the last few days, you know, the uh, inauguration, such a... Wait, did I say that right? You know, Donald Trump was just made president. It's a big fancy word. I'm not even going to attempt it, but... Lots of craziness in the world today. And I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I'm your friend. I'm here for you. Thank you for being my friends. Never forget, I'm always going to be there for you. You guys are the best. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, I'm Night Shyamalan. You're the man. Go see Split. See you guys next time.